All right, it's time to watch episodes um, 48, 49, and 50 of Naruto. So Shikamaru and Ino are kind of taunting Choji that the only people left are super strong guys. <laughs> you should be pretty worried. But then they motivate him with food, of course. But to be fair, to Choji, yakiniku is super delicious. Gar is so excited to fight that uh, Kankuro goes over to the other side to kind of chat with everyone to do like reconnaissance, especially about Neji. He's very interested in Neji. So they start doing the jumbling like, who's gonna fight next? Who's gonna fight next? And Gara seems to know that he's, his turn is next, so he just teleports down there with sand, because that's a thing. That's a thing. <laughs> that's, don't worry about it. And of course, Lee is his opponent, and they definitely faked it out like it was going to be Choji. Um, but it's gonna be Gara versus Lee. No, oh, and Lee is being so charming. I don't want him to fight Gara. Anyway, he jumps down there, the fight starts, he immediately charges, and the sand is just blocking every attack. Lee's jumping around, hitting, but he can't get, he can't get a blow in. No, don't do a flashback of that guy getting killed. I don't want that to happen to Lee. <laughs> Kankuro. This is the reason why he went over to the other side, obviously, so that he could tell people about Gara's various techniques. Kankuro explains that um, Gara has never been hit or wounded ever. Oh, and then Guy explains that Lee is not physically capable of using ninja magic. Is that move that he does, what is it, the, the one that everyone's copying, Lotus, is that not ninja magic? Well, well, he's like really, really good at hand-to-hand -hand combat and speed because he can't work on that other stuff. Oh, it looked like he was gonna get hit by the sand, but he, he backflips to safety. Guy instructs Lee to take the weights off of his legs. <laughs> so everyone's like, oh, there's no way just taking weights off your legs will do anything to help. But like when he took the weights off, he threw them down and they made these huge explosions. I guess the weights are really heavy. Oh, they were! Oh, he's like suddenly so much faster. Like, Gar can't even keep track of where he's coming from. He's looking really nervous. He's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, he got him! So much for never getting hit. Oh, he got him again! <laughs> Lee! Who oh, no. knew? Oh, but, um, all right, now, now, go oh, okay, <laughs> he's looking a little, little wacky, and, uh, okay, so Gara is, um, covered in sand, I guess. He has, like, a layer of sand over his body that protects him, um, from physical attacks, just in case. So, having the sand cover his entire body, like, armor, takes up a lot of chakra. Um, the sand that moves around and protects him like a shield does it automatically, but he has to make the sand cling to his body to keep him safe. Lee then gets permission from Guy to use his um, lotus attack, his special move. And so Lee goes to kick him, but for some reason he doesn't fly up into the air. Is it because he's heavy because of the sand? But he ha Lee has to like bam, 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 keep hitting him up, and I guess it's like really strenuous on his body. So, um... Hopefully it'll work. Looks like it went pretty well. He smashed him against the ground. He... Gara looks kind of... done. Oh, 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 but he's... Oh, he's crumbling like a clay pot. I guess that wasn't Gara. Ooh, that's creepy. Ew. Okay, I guess now let's watch episode 49. Okay, so Gara reforms. He doing pretty good, I guess, and he is ready to kill, and Kankuro and Tamari are freaked out by his expression. <gasps> I am too! Oh, Lee used up all of his strength doing that last technique, and the sand is just knocking him around like a ragdoll! <laughs> Man, this is why I didn't want you fighting Gara, Lee! So clearly Gara is just playing around at this point, because Lee can't dodge any of the sand. Oh no, I sense a flashback is coming. Oh no. <laughs> this is gonna, is it, oh it is a flashback. Now I know it's gonna be bad. <laughs> it's, it's baby Lee at the academy, he has a braid. 
<laughs> he has a, a braid. He's still so cute, though. Kakashi and Guy are watching all the kids make fun of Lee, and, and Guy's like, I really like him. <laughs> Kakashi's like, you would. Okay, we get it. Lee's adorable, and he practices really hard. Oh, <laughs> stop torturing me. Oh, so now, um, now here's the first day of them being a team. Lee, Neji, and Tenten. And, um, they have to say what their goals are, and Tenten's like, I want to be a strong female ninja! And Ninja's like, I don't feel like participating. And Lee's like, even though I can't use ninja magic, I'm gonna work really hard! And then, you know, like, N Niji and, um, Lee fight a lot, obviously, because they're boys, and Neji's a jerk. But you'd think Neji's techniques wouldn't really work against Lee, because clogging up his chakra pores wouldn't do anything, because... He can't use ninja magic. I think Neji's best technique is like just talking down to people. <laughs> like, you suck, you should just quit. You're not as good as me, so therefore, there's no point. Bam! <laughs> he does this to everyone. Such a dick. So, of course, Lee's practicing really hard, and Guy comes out and he's like, oh, come on, don't get down. I mean, Neji is, yes, he's a, he's a tensai, a genius, but you are also a genius. His genius ability is <laughs> how hard he works. Oh, <laughs> so sweet. So he appreciates what Guy said, but he's like, even when I try train three times as hard as Neji, he still beats me every single time. The guy takes Lee aside and he explains that like when he was young, he also sucked. <laughs> and um, he would always be challenging the genius of the group, which was Kakashi. So this flashback, I, I mean, I thought Guy was having the flashback, but I guess Lee was having it the whole time. <laughs> He's gotten his second wind, I suppose. So I guess Guy taught Lee this super advanced technique. Um, it, it, we're talking about gates or whatever. And there are a total of eight gates, and I guess Lee can open five. And, um, there's a, there's a difference between the secondary lotus and the primary lotus, so, so Kakashi goes full showering gun to check this out and look at it, and they're explaining it all. I don't want to learn about this. So there's, like, all kinds of, like, parts of your, like, body where the, that control the chakra. So if you open these gates, then it's like an explosion of chakra. So I guess chakra isn't connected to... I guess he can still use chakra even if he can't use ninja magic. I... <laughs> the reason I don't know the rules is because when they're explaining it, I don't pay attention. It's my fault. That's on me. Akashi looks right at Guy and he's like, I do not respect what you have chosen to do, what you've chosen to teach this child. And Guy immediately shoots him down. He's like, what if someday there's someone he desperately needs to protect, that he's willing to die to protect that person? Because if you open up the eighth gate, then you die. So Lee is trying to put himself on the same level as Sasuke and Neji. And even Naruto, and he says, I can't be the only one who loses. I'm going to open up the gates. And he's opening up the gates. <laughs> okay, we got one more episode to watch. Let's watch it. It is like an hour later because I had to charge my battery. But now it's time to watch episode 50. Oh, right. Lee just opened the gates. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. He's, he's still in the process of opening gates. He finished with the third one, and now he's moving on to the fourth one. Oh, and then Gara gets a kick to the face. So the automatic sand can't keep up. So the goal right now is to knock all of the sand armor off of Gara. I imagine once you get it off, he'd be pretty wimpy because he's never been hurt before, so he doesn't know what pain feels like. Right? Ooh, I think I just saw Neji being impressed. Oh, I guess Lee was developing this move in secret in order to defeat Neji, but he had to use it in order to fight against Gara. I can't believe Guy was training Lee in order to, to defeat his own teammate. <laughs> I'd feel so lonely if I was Neji. <laughs> so uh, Gara gets a pretty intense uh, kick to the gut. So then Lee falls to the ground. I think the gates are all closed up again, and he seems like he's in a lot of pain. Gara is surrounded by sand, and he seems like he's in a lot of pain too. But he was able to protect himself by turning his giant gourd into sand. And I think now he's out for blood. Oh, he can't get away! <laughs> Do not want! <laughs> I don't wanna go! 
Uh oh. Uh, it's making me in here and I don't want it. Ah! Oh, I just like crushed his arm and leg. Ow. The cigar goes in for the kill after doing that. And um, that's when Guy intervenes and he uh, he's like, no! Yeah, this fight's over. Whoa! Oh, suddenly a flashback for Gara. Oh, or not. Maybe it was just a sudden... Okay. I saw baby Gara. He was really cute. <laughs> Gara can't understand why Guy would save Lee. Gara's walking off out of the fighting area, and Lee has stood back up, still wanting to fight. Oh, but I guess he's not even conscious. He was just... Poor Lee. It's not the first time we've seen this type of thing take place, but it's still sad to see, because Lee is such a sweetheart. So what do we take away from this? Did Gara get hit at all? Have we... Have we, um... Passed that benchmark? Did, did he actually get wounded? Is he in any pain whatsoever? So the medical guys come out. And they're like, um, can we speak to you for a minute, guy, over here in private? So they know right away that the damage, oops, the damage is too severe, um, where they got crushed by the sand. And, um, it's not a good prognosis. They don't think he's going to be able to do any more ninjaing. That could not have gone worse. Of course, Naruto just, he has to, like, jump out and start screaming. <sighs> I, I wish that he would just like shut up every once in a while. <laughs> he just he makes everything about himself every chance he gets. I can't tell what emotion Gara is feeling. Because he doesn't have eyebrows, so it is hard to tell what he's feeling. <laughs> but he looks sad to me. Oh, that was good of Kakashi. Kakashi goes to Guy and he says, I'm sorry for judging you earlier. I didn't have the right to do that. I probably would have done the same thing to teach my students to win. Oh, and now it's time for the last match. Oh, right, we still have another one. Dosu versus Choji. Okay, so Dosu has concluded that um, the, the, the entire reason why they were entered into the exam was to test Sasuke's abilities. So Orochimaru wanted them to try to kill Sasuke <clears throat> so that um, he could see Sasuke's abilities and make sure he was good enough to bother with. And if they were able to kill Sasuke, then there's, there was no reason to bother with him. So Dosu has figured this out, and he's like, Oh, so that means Orochimaru considers us pawns. Well, I'll have to prove him wrong by advancing and then being awesome, so I have to beat Choji. And Choji's like, I want food! I'm so hungry! <laughs> and that will be in the next episode, I guess. Alright, so that's all for episodes um, 48, 49, and 50. <gasps> Lee! Oh, that was so sad. I guess, I mean, I guess I I figured it wouldn't go well for him, but I kind of hoped it would. Anyway, we're almost done with this pre preliminaries, um, and then there's going to be a tournament after this, so yay! Is it, okay, so all three sound kids went through. Uh, Shikamaru went through, Naruto went through, Neji went through, Sasuke went through. Um... Oh yeah, and then either Dosu or Choji are going to go through. Probably Dosu. But that's only eight. Am I missing one? Sakura and Ino, both both of them. Are oh yeah, and Shino. Shino went through. So I'll see you next time. My review is going... I'm going to do these episodes in my next review, which will cover through episode 59. So I'll just... I'll see you next time for that. Bye!